Hey guys, so the Husandi here is the tea kettle. I'm making German pancakes. I moved my butcher's block from the middle of the kitchen where I usually use it for chopping. But now that it's cold enough that we can cook with the wood burning stove and get the heat up without roasting ourselves out, I've made my butcher block here because it's really nice to have a space to be able to move from to your cooking surface. If, if you don't have something like that, then you're trying to like balance food here. You don't have anything to cut on. And so you're, you're moving around the kitchen a lot for no reason. So I have my butter melting in my cast iron pan for the German pancakes. I have the oven closed and just about ready to go. In fact, Paige, can you go grab me a small log? Yep. If you can't find a small one, I need you to run out to the woodshed and get me one about this big. The girls requested German pancakes. That is their, one of their favorite breakfasts that we do just for um, just for weekends. That's perfect. Thank you. I knew what size it was going to be. Okay, so my butter. My butter is melted. And I have a good bit of coal, so I need to add just a little bit of new wood in. To heat it up just a little bit more, because coals will not cut it in a wood burning stove. It has to have some actual, um, some actual wood in there, otherwise the temperature will cool down. You can do Dutch oven in coals because the uh, Dutch oven is directly in the coals, but with the stove where you have air circulating, you have to have actual wood, even, even if it's just a little bit. That piece that I put in was a bit much. Usually I like a piece that's about three inches by about three inches. That's a good, that's a good amount to, to be able to just feed it in as you need it. The amount of wood that you have to put in depends on how long it's been since you cleaned your stove, too. Uh, the air intake makes a difference. If you want to heat it up really quick, you can open up your ash door, and it will bring the temperature up very, very quickly. And then you can close it, and it'll hold that temperature. So I have found with my wood cook stove that if I get things started before I get dressed, if I come in and get the fire started back up uh, from coals from the night before, and get it really, really popping, really hot. Get the house warmed up really quick, and then cr and then crank it down. That works best. Otherwise, it can take quite a long time for your uh, cooking surface to heat up. Okay, so that's ready. I'm going to move this to a hotter spot. So then it'll melt just a little bit faster. Now the recipe for German pancakes says that you're supposed to cook it at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. The stove doesn't get that hot, so it'll probably be closer to 25 or 30 minutes before it's finished. This is my favorite tea. Caffeine-free, this one. It's, um, I love good earth teas. I think they're really, really good. So we're gonna make a really big pot of this so that we all stay hydrated today. Um, that is a, I think it's a two quart tea holder, a uh, teapot, two or three quart. And um, it looks like my butter is just about melted. Okay, so my butter, my butter's melted. So I'm just going to pour the mixture in. And once I have this in, I'm going to crank up the stove a little bit. Actually, it's already going pretty good, so I don't think I need to crank it up anymore. Um, 
It's already pretty hot in there. It should take, I'm thinking it's going to take 20 minutes. I move it to the far that's furthest away from the firebox. And that way, um, if it does start to black, to black, and if it starts to burn a little bit or get too well done, I can peek in and it gives me a little bit more leeway. Um, I wanted to talk about this. Can you see it? There we go. Our griddle. Um, when I was a kid, my parents used a griddle on their wood cook stove, and it was really good for like a huge family for cooking. But for a small family, it's just too big and cumbersome, and um, so we don't use it. Uh, our big, our big frying pans work better. So we will show you what this looks like when it's finished. Okay, so this is what it looks like: German pancake in a cast iron. I have to leave the fan turned off while I'm cooking because otherwise it blows the heat away from the stove. And so right around the stove itself you get really, really warm. When your pan just barely starts to um, smoke, that's when you put your feet on. Good job on doing it, Mom. And when we first start cooking on it in the winter, it takes a little while to get everything situated because it used to be all the way across the room. And so now you have to get all your utensils set up in the appropriate place now that you're cooking in a different place. Good GPs, Mom. Yeah, good GPs. German pancakes. The best German pancake maker ever. The best German pancake maker ever. Mm -hmm. That is the title. That is the second best maker. Oh, the German time right. Yeah. Huh. I'm number two, huh? Mm -hmm. What I strive for. Well, I think you're number one. Mm -hmm. I think mom is number one. How do you have a spatula? Okay, I got it. So I'm going to close down the sides of my stove now. It's quite hot. And you can see that my, my pan and my stove are starting to smoke a little bit. She loves being over there. She loves crawling under the stove, too. Yeah, she does. I'm sleeping under it. She doesn't have this morning or anything. I'm sleeping under it. And I move this to cool down elsewhere. And how much milk do we have in the fridge? Uh, two quarters. Apparently, the wood stove German pancakes were a hit. We are 10 minutes into the meal, and they're gone. But I think everybody got pretty full, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Is everybody yeah. pretty full? Hand that to Daddy, please. Mom doesn't eat those because she doesn't eat grains. But there's a lot of eggs in them, so it's not just um, carbs. Oh, did you tell them which pancake mix to eat? I use Pamela's pancake mix, and it's uh, rice flour. I think it has some almond flour in it. It's, it's a lot it, of nuts. It's a mix, and it's delicious. It's as good as conventional pancakes. We don't eat it a lot because it has rice in it. Yeah, and it's pricey. It's like $8 for a normal size package. But for us, it lasts us six weeks to two months. 
because I, I, I don't use it a lot. I use it for like breading. If I'm going to be um, frying, rabbit. frying rabbit, it works good for that crust. Um, you can make it into pie crust, you can make it into cookies. And it tastes really good. But again, and it does, it tastes really good, but we try to spread it out because I am intolerant to grains. I'm trying to have the girls be exposed to them without being inundated with them, hoping that their grain intolerance will not come to my grain intolerance. So I'm just trying to spread it out a lot. Well, that was not a fun part of a good morning breakfast, the, hey, we have grain intolerances.